Good morning, Garnews. <laughs> it's another beautiful Friday, February 9th. A little bit, mm, 20 past 10. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm trying to get used to the new schedule. Some days I make it, some days I don't. So, I'm a little late. So, <laughs> let's get to this. I'm bringing you another Destiny 2 video. And today is Zerg LZ Week 22. Brought to you by your favorite Guardian, Zeus Fury Omega. So, you can see we have landed here on IO. Actually, they closed their directory. My apologies. So, our good old buddy of the nine, Agent of the Nine, Zer, has arrived here on the giant scar in IO. So, I just freshly landed in. Let's head on over and see what he has for us today. Yeah, let's go this barrel. So, how's everybody's week going? It's going good, I hope. Let me know in the comments down below. I get my ass shot off. Go, go. Bad Minotaur. Bad Minotaur. All I want to do is just say hi to my buddy Zer. But apparently you're dead set up. There you go. Dead set to take me out. Mm -mm. Bust out with my blade. What the up, deep sir? black is what do you got I for us this week? Agent of the Nine. All right, we got faded engram. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, we got the rain and flux chest armor for the hunter. We got the sinoseps for the titan. Looks like we got the currency and armlets for the warlock, and the jade rabbit for the weapon of the weekend. And three of coins. Let's take a quicker, or better look at the Raid and Flux for the Hunter class. Let's see. We got the Synapse Junctions for the Intrinsic Perk, which is quick successive attacks with Arc Stab increases its damage output and duration. Always great for that subclass. Also, Plasteel Reinforcement, Restorative Mods with the Arc Paragon mod with plus 5 defense. Alright, next up, the Sinnoh Stabs for the Titan. I believe we all know the interesting perk, the bio biotech enhancement. Increase melee lunge range, improve melee damage when surrounded. Pretty awesome. Comes with plus steel reinforcements, a restorative mod with the kinetic munition loader with plus five defense. And the Corinthian armlets for the warlock. You see the intrinsic perk for this one, we got Vampire Caress. Melee attacks grant increase resilience and mobility, and then highlight injured enemies. Melee kills grant or greatly restore health. So we got the mobility enhancement mod with the plasteel reinforcement mod as well, and for the armor mods we got acceleration mod with plus five defense. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. But this one's awesome, the Jade Rabbit. Some people say it's not how it was in uh, D1, unlike a <laughs> you know me, I'm an Xbox boy. Wish I had it on the PlayStation. But almost all my friends were on here, so I didn't get to play with this in D1. Uh, when I got my hands on it, it felt pretty awesome. In certain situations. But not, I can't compare it to what it was in D1 unless I grind for it in D1 now since they're all released. But, <laughs> hey, maybe D1's actually probably a little bit better than D2 right about now. But anyway, let's go over the perks. We have the Fate of Old Fools for the Intrinsic Purge, Chain Body Shots to grant bonus damages on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. Because I believe it has 10 in the magazine, 150 rounds per minute, strong impact, long range, decent stability, and I wish it had a little bit more for handling. But anyway, let's check it out. We got Polynomial Rifling, increases the stability, armor piercing rounds. Slightly decreases range and penetrates shields and targets. And we got Zen Moment, causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. So we got a couple things to increase stability. It's a beautiful rifle. Give it a shot. I like it. Personally, I do. And you know, we all know it comes with a weapon attack mod plus five or plus five to attack. Almost went for defense there. And this week I'm actually skipping the faded engram because I've gone over all my characters, I think. I got every single one of them, so I'm gonna save those up for the next expansion. 
and hopefully get lucky with something from then. I believe the next one's in March. Uh, I'm trying to remember that roadmap they gave us out and, uh, and their Twitter. They have like the updates and all that, things to come. Uh, can't wait for the update for February on the 27th. Improving the sandbox. The go fast update, like people are, are dubbing it now. Uh, increases uh, the recharge speed for your melees, grenades, increased running speed. It's gonna be a fun one. And also, another event's coming in, I believe February 13th through the 20th. Uh, Crimson Day, the old Valentine's Day thing, so that's gonna be awesome. But anyway, let's do a quick recap. Alright, he has the Faded Engram. I hope you guys get lucky and get that exotic you're looking for. We got three of coins. And once again, let's go over the armor and exotic weapons. Good old Zerg selling us today. <laughs> we got Raiden's Flux chest armor for the uh, hunters. We got the Sinoseps for the Titan class and the Corinthian armlets. Or Kerosene. Oh, uh, why the hell did I say carry? <laughs> oh, man. It's gonna be a long day today. For the Warlock class and the Jade Rabbit. Awesome scout rifle. Pick it up if you haven't got it. It's pretty fun to use. And that's about it. Once again, good old Zuri has landed on Isle. He's here in the Giant Scar. Just fast travel to the Giant Scar and head on over to his little hideout in the cave. You'd be good to go. Until then, I'll hopefully see you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoy the Christmas event that's coming soon and all the good stuff. Until then.